What's going on guys? This is my uh, first real camping video that I'm doing. I know I posted one last year and uh, it was just mainly shots that my dad took and uh, not uh, too much. Like actually like showing you guys like what I do. So I'm gonna be doing uh, one night for sure. I don't know about two nights. I'm gonna be uh, fishing out here in the Killarney area. Hopefully get some big pike and uh, the goal obviously is big musky, but I don't know if I'll catch that. Tomorrow my buddy Angel's coming and uh, gonna pick him up there at the launch tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be nice, but tonight I'm gonna be solo. So yeah, it's gonna be good. I got uh, stuff I need for a fish fry. I have enough food for two nights. I just don't know because of weather. Um, it's gonna be sunny all weekend, but it's gonna be a lot colder on Sunday, especially in the morning. And it's pretty gnarly uh, northeast wind that's coming. And it's just gonna bring cold air. But I dressed warm, so I think I should be okay. But uh, yeah, I'm about, I'd say 10, not even 10 minutes now, five, just over five minutes in there to the boat launch. So I will uh, get the boat launched up and then next uh, next video I'll be there in the water and uh, get the camp set up. Already got everything in the boat. It was a little bit of a line up there at the launch, but uh, it wasn't too bad, it was just boaters such a beautiful morning today no wind no wind projected either so that's nice everything's all geared up on the start of good today it's a glass it's just glass out right now such a nice day for fishing not a single cloud in the sky besides a little bit of fog over there I just hope the campsite that I want is uh, available and then I'll be happy. so nice the water is super clear that may not be the greatest for fishing but that's okay definitely regretting wearing my stupid line pants it's actually warm out i don't even need a i don't even need the hoodie but it's better to have it than not this water is so clear got the campsite here just gonna get all the stuff up i'm just inflating my air mattress right now getting that ready to go because that takes forever yeah so that's it what i have so far Alrighty, so i got everything ready everything prepped the campsite is looking pretty sweet got the tent table set up all that kind of stuff just move the kindling over got a good amount of kindling and i got a good amount of wood a little mix of oak and I know this stuff is pressure treated. It's probably not the best to burn, but it's pretty much all I had left. Tent over here. Got my side of the bed. I got all my extra stuff in there. And then I have the, uh, just all that miscellaneous stuff, you know, like the tent supplies, all that kind of stuff. Table, I got the gas over there. Just ready to go fishing. Holy, setting this up by yourself is definitely a lot more annoying than uh, if you have someone with you, but it is what it is, not a big deal. I just hope, uh, hope I catch some nice pike. That's the goal for today. Obviously musky, but uh, who knows, who knows. I know I'm probably gonna catch something. May just jinx myself, but uh, whatever. Just, just nice being out here. So yeah, let's get on the water. Alrighty, so first spot of the day is literally right in front of the campsite. I don't know if you can see that on the GoPro, but it's literally just over there. I'm gonna be throwing on this chartreuse colored spinnerbait. It's been working extremely well here this year. I haven't had uh, any problems with it except for bigger pike just snapping it off. But uh, yeah, before we fish for muskie, 
I want to just go for some pike just because it's super close. Maybe catch supper, I don't know. Let's see. Every time I come here, I always think, I always think I'm going to get a fish first cast. I don't know what it is. I always just feel like I want to get a fish first cast. So, it's just so bright coming through the water. Got a little bit of waves now, a little bit of chop. I mean, it is it is earlier morning, but the water clarity right now is super clear. And uh, I just don't know if it's gonna be the best fishing in this kind of weather, but whatever. I've never went this far. Like the weeds just continue. I've never been, like uh, I usually stay back there. Yeah, I'm gonna try another spot. Alrighty, so we're in the next bay. The water is super murky here, which is actually good. It's what I want. This is caught a very big pike in here like a month ago and uh, my brother caught a nice, nice little muskie in here. See if I can uh, catch a pike. It's glass in this bay. It's glass. It's so nice. I'm probably just gonna do a little circle around the deeper part and then work my way into the shallower part. And then uh, if the spinner bait isn't working, I'll probably go to like uh, to a spoon. And then I may throw the big rod with the bigger, like soft rubber bait. Cause that was slain them last weekend. But again, there's no wind and it's sunny. The conditions aren't ideal for fishing, but just being out here it is. Oh, there, oh, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I was not paying attention and that guy hit. Oh, come on. Couldn't tell, really tell how big it was. I just barely saw it. That sucks. Yeah, let's go one more spot and then I am going down and we're gonna start musky fishing. Alrighty, so the last spot before I head down the inlet to go musky fishing. Did pretty good here last week and the week before. But uh, picked up a little bit of wind, a little bit of chop, which is good. I'm just looking, just looking for supper. That's all I care about. Not a single pike yet. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, five minutes, I am out of here. It's like the pike disappeared. They're gone, they vanished. Last cast.
So yeah, after pike fishing for probably about, I'd say 30 minutes or so, I just want to see if I would catch something. Didn't uh, end up catching any, I just missed that pike. I didn't tell how big it was, but now uh, we're after muskie, the main focus of the day. Uh, I just got to the fishing spot, so I'm gonna get uh, all prepared and then uh, start, start fishing for some muskie. Hopefully I catch one today. It's warm, but it's still, the wind's cold. Uh, picked up a little bit, so a little bit favorable, more favorable for fishing. So I'm gonna, gonna t target shallow base and then uh, see where we go from there. I mean, uh, one of the, the son's owner of a lodge here on this lake told me last weekend that this is the time where the muskies usually start pushing up into the shallower base. So he's caught a ton in this lake. So I'm gonna, gonna listen to him there. He knows what he's talking about. So, and I still have yet, <laughs> have yet to catch one. So, I mean, I'm gonna take any advice I can get. So I'm gonna get rigged up and uh, start fishing. Alrighty, so for lures, I'm gonna start off uh, with the purple bucktail. I'm gonna try bucktail to begin with see if uh, that brings me anything then i'll probably switch end up going to like a bulldog or something like that maybe the medusa no i'll probably just stick with a bucktail for the majority of the morning and then go right away to uh big medusa every time i come here i always i i always think that i'm gonna get one and uh i've come here so many times during the uh during the summertime and I have not caught a single mosque. My brother and I came here one weekend in July. Probably fished this spot, this lake for, I would say, oh, at least five hours, at least five hours. Nothing, not a single bite. And then right as we we're gonna leave, he snags a mosque. Boom, beauty hook set, everything. I get it into the net. Everything was good. I can't even lie. I was super. I was super. Uh, I was super cheesed. Just because I was like, are you kidding me? But that's how it goes. That's how musky fishing is. I got the net ready to go. Because I just realized that I have no one to help me with that. If I do end up catching a fish that's quite big it's maybe uh maybe really really hard for me to to actually like reel this thing in well i can reel it in but actually like get it to the point where it's tired so i'm just gonna let it peel because there's no way i'll be able to net that thing if it's if it's just going crazy boat side because i'll have this stupid 10 foot rod in my right hand and then in my left hand i'll have that massive net that is oh but let's can only hope only hope i don't know that stupid gopro battery just died just want a big musky Day guys been fishing here for about an hour and no musky no other bites just because i'm using big lures wouldn't expect other fish to really bite them yeah it's definitely warmed up it's a lot nicer out now than it was an hour ago there's a nice slight breeze now the wind isn't actually like bone chilly anymore driving down the inlet it was like it was super cold and it was like ugh, my hands were freezing I was like, oh, why am I even coming out here? But now it's actually nice. I know my nose, I can't tell now, but I know by the time I go back to eat, oh, it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be burnt, it's gonna be red, it's gonna be hurting. Maybe not, I don't know. But there's literally no cloud in the sky, except for just a few. Um, water visibility is quite clear here on Mel. But uh, no, I'm gonna keep on trying. Probably gonna stay here, probably, I would say, o'clock i got another another like three hours left in me left in me and then uh i'm probably gonna go back and just get closer to the campsite and then start fishing there 
Alrighty, so I think I'm going to switch up the lure now to uh, this all-white Medusa. Now that it's a little bit deeper and there's not too many weeds or as many weeds, I think this is going to be a better choice. So we'll start doing this. Configure eight this a lot easier than uh, using a big bucktail. Because every time I would figure eight with a bucktail, it would just, it would always just pull, right? So I'm just going to straight retrieve a little mix of, well, I'm probably going to hit the GoPro every time I do that, but whatever. I'm making my way down the channel. Um, few follows, pike, uh, not very big, not very big at all. Um, probably like 20 inches. They just come out of nowhere and they see the lure and then probably they see the boat and then just leave. Um, way too small. I like this size of Medusa. I think it's uh, I think it's a good size. I don't know if you really even need the extra large, like the big one. I personally feel like you don't. Oh weeds probably like this size is perfect got some weeds and it just looks so nice like in this murky water i feel like this is super visible the fish are able to see it like nice and clearly so yeah hopefully we catch one soon i'm just trying my best again like i said i always have hopes when i come out here to catch a muskie like i personally think that i'm always going to catch a muskie um but again i don't i don't come out here all every day and uh you know if i'm not a guide then how can i expect to always have muskie but i hope i would have at least one though like at least one you know that would be nice but it's not just not just the, i don't care about the time and money it's just like this has literally depleted my mental state Fishing musky has actually caused me so much suffering. If people ask me why I do it, I honestly don't think I could give a straight answer. I'd probably say some stupid thing like, oh, it's really good. No, it's, it's soul crushing, this kind of fishing. To know that you could probably be out throwing smaller lures and crushing pike and bass, but you choose to throw these $40 lures with a $700 rod and reel combo just to not even catch the fish that you're looking for. I feel like if anyone were to hear that, they'd probably never want to get into musky fishing. But it's just, I just want to catch big fish. Came out here last year and I knew there were big fish in this area. I always knew that. Um, and I think once Colin ended up catching his musky first, that that just sparked something in me that that fish sparked you know me saying oh there are big fish in here but now like that really just made it like serious like i knew it kind of just confirmed the suspicion i had a big fish and the fact that he caught it and i think it's not just because he caught it before me but i wasn't there to see it I had to work that day a 1 30 to 9 30 shift it's like oh would have been out there i would have would have had the possibility of catching him too because i was using the exact same lure he was so after that i said to myself i don't want to be messing around with a little pike i want to come out here and just absolutely slay big fish just had a quick snack there had a nice apple i'm ready to go back this spot that's coming up uh my brother colin he actually missed they didn't miss it. It just came out of nowhere. Like to me, a miss is when it hits it and you don't, don't land it. Like you missed one. But if it never even, if it just follows your lure and doesn't hit it, well then I would just say it's like a, it's a follow. But he, he had a big follow here. Uh, probably like a month ago now. Hats have been. I didn't personally see it, but uh, I, I believe him because they're in here. Well, the guy's still fishing out there in the middle. I'm going to ask them what they're fishing fishing for. Excuse me. Yeah, no, it's it's turning out really nice. It's like really, really nice. I still have hopes for the afternoon. Because I don't know why. I'm literally like just thinking about filleting. I think I'm just thinking about filleting the fish the pike because I just want to try out that new filet method I watched my neighbor do 
I don't know why it just sounds so it looks so easy but I know it's not like I know it's not easy it's a big possibility that you mess up the fish lose a ton of meat but whatever if I was ever down bad for food I'd probably just go to Herbert's fisheries get some fish and chips spend what seems like 30 bucks for four little pieces and mediocre fries the fish is great the fish is absolutely phenomenal just is it worth 30 bucks no it's like 120 bucks for four people it's insane that is insane I thought I saw something, but it's probably just a shadow. I don't know. To me, that's absolutely insane. I think those guys are jigging. They're definitely, they're not casting. I don't see them casting. They're jigging. Uh, probably going to go for some pickle or something. I don't think I, I hadn't, no. I'm just trying to think. No, I didn't catch a single pickle this year. Not a single pickle this entire year. <laughs> I don't honestly care at all. I don't, I don't care in the slightest. I honestly could care less about catching pickerel. So easy to reel in. You don't even need to worry about them. So I think I'm going to head back to the camp. I just finished up smallmouth fishing, no luck. Uh, musky fishing, no luck. So I'm just gonna head back to the camp, maybe make lunch, see if I'm hungry or not. Maybe hit a few bays actually like right before the camp, some bays that I think may be good, I don't know. I just want a pike for supper. So if I can catch one, that's good. I'm just in these back, it's back wee bay. It's weird because last year you couldn't see bottom and this year you can see it perfectly fine. And there's like, like probably a quarter of how many weeds were here last year. This, this time last year, you know. So, yeah, I head back to the camp, see how it goes. Maybe hit a few bays, like, I don't know, five or so minutes away from the campsite. I don't know. And then, uh, yeah, see how that goes. Because I, uh, I do want to eat some fish tonight rather than the ribs. I mean, it just, just tastes way better. I think the reason why I'm not catching fish today is probably because of the sun. Like, there's not a cloud in the sky. And it's midday. <laughs> I missed one. I don't want to jinx myself, but there's still lots of time in the day. And if I don't catch one, well, maybe, hopefully tomorrow with Angelo. But yeah, so headed back to the camp. Probably gonna make lunch, uh, and then yeah, see what see what I do after that. Yeah, so I just came back. It's no fish. There's certainly not a single fish, but I really only fished pike for I don't know half an hour. Missed one, and then the rest of the day was just musky fishing. And I uh, came back. I'm going to make up some butter chicken. I'm kind of hungry. I didn't uh, expect to be this hungry, but I got this from President's Choice. Where is it? It's, I've actually had it before. It's actually not that bad. Like, it's, it obviously doesn't, like, taste exactly like how, you know, a real, authentic, like, Indian restaurant would do it. But still, I got the... Oh, this is upside down. Let's flip that over. No, one second. It's probably a lot easier there with the GoPro, so got the butane everything ready to go. There we go. Take this off. Alrighty, pick that up in a bit. Mm. I'm actually so hungry, it's not even funny. Uh, where's the forks in this one over here? Yeah, so I think the plan for me is then to, after do this, go and uh, hit some other spots. Yeah, this is, this is, fro that's frozen. It's like one blob, look at that. And I bet you watch, <laughs> <laughs> just like I thought you could take this rice out just like that so let's uh you know what oh it's actually okay it's coming apart easily so okay 
I don't know how this is gonna how this is gonna work. This is oh my god. Let's just get the butane on. Let's get that. Let's get that a little bit warm. I feel like I genuinely messed this up. Like the actual sauce is coming along good, but this is the rice is not separating at all. Like maybe if I can just take the sauce, put it on top of the rice. Like this, this is an absolute joke. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's splitting now. Yeah, just got to get it nice and warm. And then maybe what I can do is take the sauce off. I, I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but this looks like an absolute disaster. It's like there's so much like liquid. It's all water. Now I can see why, you know, my mom gets mad there when I forget to bring the chicken out of the freezer. This is exactly why. This is an absolute joke. But whatever. Turned out perfectly fine. It's uh, nice and warm. Actually tastes good. But uh, yeah. So I'm gonna probably going to have this. And then go back out fishing. It's not even 3 o'clock yet. So I still got lots of fishing left. In case if I do catch some fish, um, I, that gives me some time to fillet because I'm trying that new fillet method. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't even know if it's good. Put the sunlight out. I don't even know if it's going to work really. So I can only hope, but I'm just going to muck this butter chicken right now. And then, uh, yeah, should be ready to go. And then right on to the next spot. It's so nice out right now. Nice little breeze. But still, no fish. I mean, I really, I knew what to expect, musky fishing, but I didn't even really try today for pike, so I'm not just gonna start trying. So hopefully, hopefully we can get some pike. Bay's actually uh, been producing quite a few solid fish the last few times I've been out. One thing I noticed about uh, fall, especially like when it, you know, this time of year, because the sun doesn't like go as like high in the sky anymore, it kind of stays down a bit because of the rotation or whatever. I noticed the glare is so much worse this time of year. The glare is so much worse on, in the water than it, than it would be in like August or July. It's just, it, even with polarized shades, it's, it's super, super glary. It's actually crazy. to the next spot I'm just just don't want to get skunked like I know it's always possible I've been skunked this year before but they're not biting they're not biting just that this this time of year usually they're fired up ready to go but not today it doesn't look like
Oh, there's a big, there's a pike, nice pike following my lure. Yeah, big one. Oh, come please. Oh, that was a good fish. Nicest fish all day. Oh, you just wouldn't commit to it. Okay, well, oh, that sucks. I saw him right behind. I was like, are you gonna bite? Are you gonna bite? I tried reeling in my lure a little bit faster. Now, I usually call this a bay dead tree. I don't know if you can tell over there, there's just one dead tree that's sitting right here. But right now I'm gonna call this Last Hope Bay because this is literally my last bay that I can hit that's close to the campsite and that I don't need to drive. Because there's a lot of other spots that I recently found, but they are so rocky. And it's, I don't really wanna be going at this time it's like the water cleared up in the week. It's like all the weeds disappeared and I can see the bottom again. Oh, what is going on? This is just like spring. There's the, yeah, there is a pike. Yeah, there's a pike. If it follows, it's like this. So exactly what's happening like spring. It's like the water got so clear, it's not good. They're not committing because they they see the boat. I hate that. What happened? We are back at the spot I just was maybe like 25 minutes ago. I'm gonna go try again before I head her home. Just when I thought all hope was lost, literally two seconds after the GoPro dies. I'm not even joking, the GoPro died and then I made another cast and I catch this beauty as such a nice eater. One second, I'll show you. Holy, thank goodness. Thing actually fought crazy on the musky rod, I was surprised. Of course they didn't capture that fight because the stupid GoPro battery just died out of nowhere. It's the third battery in like, probably like, I'd say six or seven hours, but I'll show you what the fish looks like. He has a lot of meat to him. He'll, we'll get good fillets, so. Oh, he's, it's perfect. So, let's go. Let's go. Yes. And it was just like, I was reeling in really slow. Like the last like three, four casts, I was just reeling in really, 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 really slow, just like this on the power handle. And I felt a nug. Pretty, he pretty much set himself. Wasn't hooked very good because of his, because that stupid lure has such a weird, like, it's screwed, whatever, it doesn't matter. Still got him. I'm going to guess he's probably like high 20s, maybe 30, I don't know. But it uh, doesn't matter. So now I have actually some filming to do. I'm going to do some filleting. Ex just exactly what I need. I just wanted one. So all I needed was just one. Because I had seen now four big ones here today. And not a single one would bite. He bit. I was like, yes. Thank goodness. Like you have no idea. Right here. So I'm going to take a look at the pike. Bring over the fillet knife. And sharpener. And yeah, I'm going to fillet this. No, no longer the five fillet method. I'm going to be doing the, uh, just down the backbone and removing the Y bones. Now this is either going to be really, really good or it's going to go terribly. So I'm just going to put, before I show you what the pike looks like, it's an absolute beauty, by the way. I think I'm going to fillet it right here on this flat part. Put this thing down so I can just show you this. That's him right there. He's probably about a 28. Nice, nice looking. Staring at you. So yeah, I'm gonna flame him up and uh, hopefully the flay turns out good. Oh, it's just a ton of pine needles and stuff on him, but that's okay. Oh my. Oh, it's just that their gill, gill plates are super sharp. I don't wanna mess around. Uh, 
Is this thing filming? Yeah. Don't want to mess around and cut myself by accident. Go behind. Oh my, oh. Oh, you be kidding me. Right down to the backbone. And then, oh my gosh, it makes such a big difference when you have a, a sharp fillet knife. Oh yeah, let's go. See how this turned out? Oh, look at that. Look how nice that filet is. Oh my God. And there's the Y bones right there. You can easily see them. Perfect, that's good to, that's good to see. Okay, now let's flip them on the other side. So you're following that backbone. Oh, this is, this turned out so good. Oh, perfect, look at that. I did even a better job, I kind of stayed above the rib. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the rib cage. So now I'm going to pretty much work underneath. I haven't taken out the rib cage in so long holy this is already so much fish like it's crazy how much fish this actually is just got to get underneath and then you start oh yeah there you perfect see and then you just start slicing yeah, perfect. So I just got right underneath them. So you just want to keep on slicing until, because the goal here is not to lose um, a lot of meat. And this is a bigger fish, so the rib cage is a little bit bigger, but, and again, I haven't removed a rib cage. I haven't, this is, this is so much meat. This is actually crazy how much meat this is. I may not even need to make those vegetables. I'll see. I have a feeling like I may not even need to eat those. Okay. So now you're just working again underneath this rib, uh, rib cage, and I'm just slicing. So now what I'm doing is I'm working, I'm going beside these bones. Okay. I can feel them. Yeah. I can actually feel them. Oh, there we go, okay. Actually, I'm gonna go back. Oh, they do go back quite a bit. Oh, there they are, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Again, this is my first time ever doing this. So now I'm working. Oh, okay, I see exactly how these bones run. And I'm kind of carving upwards. The fact that I have it this down first try is amazing. Now I'm going to cut along this lateral line. Okay, I'm working down this lateral line. The lateral line is the line that right in the middle of the fish that kind of Okay, now I'm just gonna. Oh, let's go. Oh, I accidentally pulled too much. <laughs> I definitely pulled too much. Okay, that I pulled, I pulled too much. But you know what, I'm going to take that. I'm gonna take that entire filet right there. I took a little bit too much out, but that's okay for my first time. 
thing is I can't tell what what is good or not so but you got a ton of meat holy Definitely got a clean. Now I'm turning up. Oh, this is actually so much harder, holy. Definitely no professional at this. Now I think maybe I'll be able to rip them out in a bit. Can we go up there? Oh, perfect. Most okay there. That that bone that is completely gone now. Here we go. Just pulling them. I don't want to lose too much meat though, because I'm. Oh yeah, no, never mind. This is all bones here. Holy. Just gotta cut that there. There we go. That one's definitely way better. Water is... It's cold, but it's not as cold as I thought it was gonna be for this time of year. I have everything prepped. I got my fish crisp here in a, in a bag. I didn't know how much I needed. I feel like this, this should be enough, I hope. I'm gonna empty it all out because I'm gonna use it all tonight. It's not like, actually, maybe I'll keep some for tomorrow. If I do, uh, Angela, I do have fish fry for tomorrow, but I doubt it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need the whole thing. Oh, sick. Okay, that's the, uh, okay. It's already, it's already getting hot this quick. Let's go. I think this white pan is a lot better than the other pan. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start getting this. I'm just going to get every, all of them ready. This should go on nice like this. Oh yeah. Okay, I need the spatula. I forgot that. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we go. They're all nice long pieces, you know. That's how I want to see it. Oh my god, that's so nice and flaky. Literally just breaks apart. Uh, do I, I don't want to dirty a fork or, yeah, where's the fork? Uh, there's nothing but spoons. I see like four spoons. There we go, one fork. Mm, there we go. How's this piece? Oh, it looks delicious. Mm, hot, oh my God. I, oh, that piece you know is good. I swear if Pike didn't have Y bones, if pike did not have Y bones, everyone would be keeping pike. So thankfully they have Y bones, so people don't really seem to target them. I'm targeting them, them today. I don't know why I didn't catch any except for one, like a joke. If I didn't, if I didn't catch one right now, I would have been in such a bad mood. It's because I know how nice it is right now.
the uh yeah if i if i didn't come out here man i would be disappointed in myself because there's no reason for me not to come out here good wind like another cloud in the sky you know look at this meat right here mmm delicious oh shit it's also mmm very tender this is extremely good exactly what I wanted to eat mmm Yeah, this is a full meal here. It's literally just fish. Well, I'm gonna turn off the uh, the camera. I'm gonna eat in peace to some music because I haven't listened to music this whole trip. Yeah, I'm not as burnt as I thought, but I just got the camp cleaned up. It's gold. Oh, it's golden hour right now. It's actually so nice. Holy, but. Uh, yeah, no, just gonna, I think I'm gonna get, I think I, I think I'm gonna go for a little fish. I think I have to, just, just over, kind of behind those trees. So I got everything ready, put the garbage in the, uh, the fire pit. Fish was super good. And, um, I'm just gonna quickly throw this stuff. So yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go swimming. Oh, swimming, uh, fishing, most likely. Uh, I don't know. It's just too nice not to. I got probably about half an hour left, and then uh, the sun is definitely, definitely going down faster than I'd like it to. So I think I'm gonna head now. I'm gonna try over there and then see where I go. So yeah, let's go. Same thing here. <clears throat> A lot of the weeds are are dead it's like the water's ultra clear here oh oh let's go yes oh perfect oh oh i saw that that was a good hit oh he's a good fish it's actually not bad i saw that thing hit it's just shell he's going under the weeds there oh let's go awesome i didn't i did not expect no he just oh you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me man Oh, that sucks. Oh, I thought I had him too. That, that really sucks. Whatever. If that was my only hit all day and I missed him, oh, I saw him hit too. He came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere. I only care that I lost that fish because I only caught one today. So... But if I had caught like five or six, it really wouldn't make a difference if I lost that one. Any any luck? Yeah, yeah, nice. Slowest day ever. Really? Oh yeah, terrible.
Holy is a nice hour right now. I just missed two. So I got that one on GoPro. Lost that one. I turn off the GoPro again. I swear to God. And I have another one on. So I'm trying to hold it. Press, uh, like turn the GoPro on. Got off. So I would have had two more. But the first one was definitely nice. For sure. But it's all nice up here. Like it just... Oh, it actually looks like someone's camping on that island, on Pinch Island over there. You won't be able to tell in the uh, in the video, but <clears throat> there's a red kayak that's propped up on that shoal over there on that island. So someone's camping on there. So it's going to be nice. Someone's going to be there. So let's see if I can get the sunset in the back. Oh, yeah, it's nice for sure. So I'm probably going to get the fire started now because it's literally only seven some and it's like dark out terrible it's uh it's annoying but it is what it is it's a beautiful night it's not very cold winds low winds going to be changing directions i'll be picking up angelo uh in the morning so see how that goes hopefully my phone stays it's the only thing i'm worried about well, i told him i'll be there at nine but my like if my phone dies i don't know what i hear clock so whatever it will uh, it'll work out i'll make sure so I'm just walking down to the uh, site right now. And uh, yeah, I wanna get that fire going before it gets too, uh, before it gets too dark. I got a ton of kindling, I got a ton of wood. I want a good fire, I want a long fire today. So I'm gonna sleep good tonight. I'm gonna just be probably sleeping in a t-shirt. Um, I didn't think I was gonna be sleeping in a t-shirt this time of year, but, cause I have that nice thick duvet blanket whatever it's gonna be nice so yeah just a beautiful night missed two fish so hopefully tomorrow's better probably gonna go explore uh philip edward island tomorrow like i said with angelo i want i want to try go a little bit further see if there's more pike there i mean we'll hit those spots like we'll hit musky spot but i don't know if i want to waste my time doing that uh it's just a beautiful night it's actually it's it, the camera really doesn't do it that justice but do it justice i mean but my god is it nice out tonight not a lot of clouds like i like i thought it's just it's just nice it's just very beautiful very calm hopefully the wind stays like this i like falling to bed falling asleep to the sound of waves like french river man like like we were you know right now we're on a nice island but we were in like the bush bush like that forest to me doesn't really look that thick the french river bush is very very thick like it's nice and open here the only noises that you know that are on this island are those two little squirrels and uh, a few mice. That's it. But yeah, time to get this fire started and then uh, end the night. Because it's actually a good day today. Even though I caught one fish, it's still a solid day. It's always a solid day out here at Czech. So yeah, I got ate that fish. So I am full. I am I'm stuffed. I could not eat those vegetables. Good thing I didn't because I would have felt way too full. And that was a lot of fish. So yeah. I just need those those twigs to to catch because if those twigs catch well then i'll i should be okay i should have broken them down into smaller pieces i don't know if they're gonna catch
morning, guys. I actually had a uh, quite a good sleep last night. It was nice. It wasn't too windy, but there was uh, like a nice breeze. So I fell asleep to the waves. I woke up once or twice in the night to go pee. Other than that, it was pretty good. I just slept in my, like, I have this, like, thermal layer. This, it's like this wool thermal layer with long johns under this nice fluffy blanket. It was actually nice and warm. Perfect temperature. wasn't cold at all. But, uh, it's definitely not the warmest this morning, but uh, there's, like, no wind. Outside's nice. So, yeah, Angelo is on his way now. So, I'm going to pick him up probably around. He'll probably be here, like, anywhere from 8.30 to 9. So, it gives me a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little morning fish, cook breakfast, and then uh, pick him up. Yeah, it's, it's a super nice morning right now. It's actually really peaceful. Yeah, so I just went out for a little fish. Wasn't successful. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. 
I'm picking up Angelo probably within the next, I'd say half an hour, but we're gonna have to definitely find some new spots today. guys so just picked up angel from the boat launch it was a tough tough day yesterday but uh for here maybe 10 15 minutes and caught a really really nice fish oh my he's actually a nice size he's giving me a pretty good bite oh that's actually a chunk dude what's that oh he, he absolutely destroyed this oh there we go hold him up i'm not gonna keep him because I don't have any fish crisp left and uh I'm not keeping any more. Where's he has a mark on him? One sec. Just as when things started to turn grim, he's actually his head's huge. I can't even get him. Oh. Oh. Oh, perfect. Oops, not a bad fish. We'll get him on the uh, scale here. I'm saying maybe he's upper 20s, low 30s. Wow, look at that. Right on 33 inches. Super solid fish. Beauty, good way to start the day. Put him back. There we go. Beauty, let's go. Off to the next spot, Angela and I just sat at the camp for, I don't know, maybe 10, 15 minutes, just talked a little bit, took a little break, and uh, we're off to the next spot. Spots that I ended off yesterday, hopefully now that there's a little bit more fish, can only hope. Angela's rocking a piss right now, so <laughs> ready to go. Hopefully we catch some, I don't know, but uh, if not, I already caught a 33 incher, Angela caught two, so we already caught more. There he is right now, coming down.
at the new spot here. Just right there. Angel got the chest mount on. Getting that, he's getting some footage of his own. Trying this spot, I've never fished this spot before. I don't know, I saw some weeds. Thought it would be a good, such a nice channel. This place is actually crazy. Right now on the south side of Philip Edward Island. And uh, I've actually caught some here with my buddy Thomas a few weeks ago, but not at this spot. But there's just so much water here to cover. It's like nearly impossible. So it's gonna be beauty. Hopefully we catch some, I don't know. All right, he just got back from fishing. That's what happened to the tent. <laughs> I guess it did not hold at all. Oh, whatever. You got that GoPro configured? Oh yeah. Well, we tried. Solid uh, one-nighter. Only managed to catch about like six fish total. I mean, it's better than nothing. But other than that, no, I got it this. I'm gonna have some butter chicken. Then I'm probably gonna get all this pack up. It's 3.15, so go home. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace. Just driving back now. Everything's put away. The boat is all set on the trailer. Didn't catch as many fish as I wanted to, but I mean, what can you do? Angelo ended up catching two. I think I only caught one fish today, but it was a very nice size. It was a 33 inch fish, so that was good. Other than that, um, camping was super fun. The weather last night was phenomenal. It was nice. Uh, it's pretty warm through the day and then at night it got cold, but I mean, it was still super fun. Um, yeah, just headed back now. Again, thanks for, thanks for watching this video. I don't think I'll be making more this season just because, you know, it's coming to an end. It's October 1st now the day I recorded this so I don't think the only other time that I'll actually end up coming out is if I do um, uh, like a musky trip probably either mid October or if I can sneak a day in November um, and just only strictly go for musky probably won't camp just because it's gonna be too cold then but yeah we'll see how it goes other than that it was a fun fun trip it was actually nice going by myself for the day. I wish Andrew would have been able to come out, but he had plans, so it was all good. Not a big deal. Uh, I wouldn't ever camp alone on any other place where I did because I really enjoy island camping. But until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.